Happy Halloween. What? What's up, my ensafs? Welcome to my channel. Since this episode is happening during the weekend of Halloween, I decided I'd dress up for it. Didn't really have a full costume this year, so I went with like the easy little kitty cat look. But here we are, so I will be reacting to this video dressed like this. By the way, if you hear a bunch of random noise in the background, it's because my dad's watching a movie in the other room. Anyway, today's episode is going to be Season 5, Episode 6, Taking Control. I'm really excited about this one because I remember this one has some really, really cute extra moments. And also some really important ones. But before we get into the reaction, as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Go ahead and check out my social media accounts. And now, without further ado, let's get into this episode. I'm about to mark this cup up with some black lipstick. Oh, there it goes. I love that they kept her on Hordak. Do you think I should check on her again? Adora. But what if she wakes up and needs something? I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna go check on her. Bitch. Adora's so gay here. Like, seriously. She's so obsessed with her cat girlfriend, it's ridiculous. I'm not complaining, though. Don't get me wrong. Because honestly, like, same. How did you do that without the sword? I just suddenly felt her again. I don't know. The person I love most in the entire universe was just there dying in my arms, and all of a sudden, I could murder all of them. I just have no idea how to do it again. She's triggered by love, bitch. She was there when your friends needed her. Well, friends and one person who threw me off a cliff once. And also future girlfriend slash future wife slash love of her life slash soulmate slash... You get the point. <laughs> Glimmer is so cute. I'm gonna go check on Catra again. Ha! <laughs> Gay! I remember when I first saw this, I just like couldn't stop feeling so giddy about it. Like, she's so concerned and worried about Catra so, so much. Oh, baby. Fun fact, if you didn't know, Noelle Stevenson had, has actually written and posted a fanfic that she wrote about the moments that happened kind of like before this episode and where the last one left off. It's called Don't Go, if you don't know. It's on Archive of Our Own. And in that fic, you find out those pajamas that Catra is wearing are actually Adora's. So, hey. Oh my god, the amount of torture she went through. I'm, I'm almost kind of glad we didn't get the graphic specifics of what happened to Catra, like all her torment and all the torture she clearly went through. It's just like, she went through so much, so fucking much. It's insane. And like to see her suffering with all these little flashes and stuff, it just, it really, really sucks. It's just, oh God, I just, I, I can't even, I can't. Also, she does look really adorable with her short hair, just saying. Ah! Oh! The yearning, the longing. She just wants to reach out and comfort her and just, ah, but shit's complicated right now. Don't worry, Adora, you will get your chance, I promise. A blonde girl who thinks she's better than everyone barging into my room all day. Oh, wait. She's such a fucking brat. When I first saw this though, I'm not gonna lie, I was getting really frustrated with her and really mad that she was still being a little bitch towards Adora. Like, granted, I understand that's her character. Glimmer even points that out later, but it was frustrating as a viewer. Like, dude, stop. I love that she just throws her. Yay! I know you all hate me. I never hated you. When I first heard this dude, like, I was, first of all, I was just like, I'm feeling it now. Like, just watching them argue just, like, hurts, especially because you know where it's coming from. And it's just like, you feel it. And then to have Adora say, I never hated you, like, like, we knew that, but still to have her say it. And, like, look at Kedra's face. She's so, she's genuinely taken aback by that. You know damn well in her mind. She's like, after all the shit I've done to you and, and I've done in general, how can you not hate me? Like, this is just immaculate. Oh, the regrets. Kitty regrets. Darling, we're doing this to cheer her up. Okay, multiple things here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we even get to something that we know is coming. First of all, seeing way more of Natasha and Spinarello being like such a cute married couple. Yes. Second of all, Noelle, by the way, if you didn't know, Noelle is the voice of Spinarella. And like, she just sounds so cute. And like, they're just so cute together. And just like, I love them. Right. Dude, holy shit. Okay, so watching this for the first time, this was not only the first time we see them kiss, but like the first time we see any gay, lesbian, LGBTQ couple kiss on the lips. Like that, just plain center of the screen, all about it. Look at how cute they are. We're rewinding this. <sighs> Look at how cute they are. They are the definition of cuteness. Goals. Got it, old man. 
I feel so bad for Micah. He tries so hard to, you know, bond with a child again after being lost on Beast Island for how many years? And it just, uh, Frost is not the one, man. She's not the one. She's still a stubborn cat. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, he didn't even flinch. Another fun fact, if you didn't know, his apron actually translates to Smooch the Chef in First One's language. I thought that was pretty cute. Oh, it's a setup. I'm not happy about the outcomes of this. Welcome to Elberon, rebel hero. Okay, right there, right away, you already knew something was wrong. Like, who the fuck talks like that? Oh, yeah, Lord Prime. I knew it. I was like, this bitch is freaking, mm -mm, she chipped. Why don't you stay for supper? Yeah, I'm sorry. Anybody ever asks me to stay for supper like that, bitch, I'm out. Once again, Catra is ruining our lives. Somebody is salty. Dude, my anxiety was through the roof during this whole party. Something really weird just happened. <laughs> they chipped her! It's getting dark outside. That was almost as creepy as the classic Christmas song, Baby, it's cold outside. Like, dude, run. The light. Oh my god. So grow up and let us remove it or we're all dead. Does anybody get a little bit of a gay vibe? Dude, dude. I remember when I first saw this, I was like holding a pillow and I was like, the tension. You'll never have to see me again. Adora, wait. Please. Oh my god! Do you understand how hard that was for me to hold that just now? Holy shit, dude! I would pay so much money to re-watch this season for the first time. Like, the emotions I felt watching this scene in particular, especially this moment here. First of all, the music, too. Ugh. But, like, her hand slowly falling to just... Oh my god! <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it. Fucking A. Catch Dora will be the end of me. Number nine, eight, two. Remove the hand holding. <laughs> the amount of touching we got. And this is like just right after they've reconnected. Like. <laughs> I said. Just stay with me for a bit, okay? Oh my god. I can't! It's too much. It's just too much. It was too much the first time. It's too much now. I can't. I'm not. Mm, I'm not strong enough. Uh, Adora cares about her so much. I want to know how long, how much time they spent on the ship. Like, how long were they gone for? Because by the time they get back, like, so much shit went down. They just never specified on that. I just wonder how long were they really up there in space. Let me know in the comments how long you think they were up in space. How they instinctively just reach for each other and hold each other. Oh my god. I want to go home. Bruh. We will. Y'all feeling that? It's the good feels. Oh my god, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, here it comes. New transformation sequence! Bro, she's so gorgeous. A glimmer. A taste of bow. And here it comes, my favorite. Bro, that smirk. They knew damn well what they were doing here. Like the way she looks at you after we see Catra's helmet piece being accented there. Like, they knew. They knew. We know. Ugh. God, she's gorgeous. Yes! Catra's like gay panicky. If you looked up gay panic in a Pictionary, that's what you would see. That glow up though. Look, she's literally glowing. Ooh, 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 the... I spy beef. Oh, the cuts, the definition, the... Mm. I almost licked the screen. Anyway. The walk, the stride. Whoop some ass! I love how there's like no wind in space and yet her hair is still like flowy. Fuck science! Gosh, she's amazing. Who would win in a fight? Adora as she or Korra in the Avatar state? Let the debate begin. I mean, honestly though, they would be the best of friends. There would really be no need for them to fight, but still, it's an interesting thought. Hell yeah, cause why not? So I like that. Spreading the gang throughout the entire universe. I love it! I never realized how tiny Entrapta was until this shot. She is so adorable. Look at her! She's so cute and little. I love her. And then this this part right here is so mm, it pulls at the heartstrings. Here we go. Baby. Mm. I'm sorry. I forgive you. It's so cute, keep this all alone. 
just a little pat in the Ah, oh, so cute! You really need her. And Chuck is just like, oh, okay, sure. Those actually look fire. I want one. She's so cute. I love that. Absolutely love that. Ugh. Oh. We've got to go back. We will. I don't like this part. Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I was so freaking mad when I saw that. I was so mad. Like, mm -hmm. like how dare you? You get us to like fall for spin the toss that much more and then you just pull this shit on us? Ugh. Anyway, what another great episode filled with so much cuteness. A decent amount of angst leads up to the next episode. Like I said, comment down below about how long you think they were up in space because I honestly don't know. I don't know if that's ever been specified. And two, not that they would ever fight because again, let's be honest, if in a crossover, a door and core would be like the best of buds like jock best friends for life. But if they did have to fight in their states, Korra in the Avatar state or Adora Shira, who wins? Again, guys, for more content, make sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and check me out on social media. Next week, I'll be reacting to episode seven. And I figured out which show I will be reacting to next after I finish with Shira season five. Booby! I've actually never seen that show, so this is going to be a genuine, thorough, first time reaction watching that show. I've seen so much stuff about it. So I know very, very little. I know the characters, but I don't know the show at all. So it's gonna be really exciting when I get to it, but that won't happen until I finish with Shira. Thanks again so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween.